The companies that was hi the company that was hired to provide intelligence on the Dakota Access Pipeline protesters is trying to weasel their way out of a lawsuit that accuses them of operating without a license in North Dakota. You found this story. Tell me, what's your take on this case? What's so fun about this is that Tiger Swan is basically, they're a private mercenary company, not unlike Blackwater. Most of their contracts are for work over in the Middle East, mercenary work, security work, allegedly. But so you had Energy Transfer Partners, owner of Dakota Access Pipeline, who hired them from North Carolina to go find everything you can out about these protesters. Help us with intimidation, help us with, you know, background checks. If one of them has a criminal record, we can use that against them. Mm. So every day while this Tiger Swan was, was hired by ETF, they would send their little drones or whatever to take photos of the encampments. They would put together daily intelligence briefings for ETF. And now that they're being accused of operating illegally in North Carolina, their defense is, we never, we never went to North Dakota, well, North Dakota. We never went there, so we can't be accused of operating there because we did all our stuff from back here. But there's photos The Intercept has right. that shows and, you were in North right. Dakota. Intercept did a wonderful story, as usual. Yeah. Intercept did it, did it again. They're a great source of real information. Corporate media hates The Intercept because <laughs> Intercept tells stories that corporate media can't tell. Right. And, but on this particular situation, they also did a great background on on Tiger on, on this company, yeah. and it's it's Blackwater. Basically, they're corporate mercenaries hired by the government. This is what's so interesting. Initially hired by the government to push back on terrorism, to do counterterrorism work. Now that's not just you know that's just not surveillance. That's hands-on, uh, you know, spook work that this company. Here they are on American soil, American soil using those same techniques with American citizens to, that are out there protesting and saying, we don't want your damn pipeline on our property. And, and they admitted in the documents that The Intercept got that they are treating these people like terrorists. They said they're on this jihad, they're you know, akin to ISIS, people yeah. who didn't want this pipeline going through sacred Native American lands and poisoning aquifers. They're, they're jihadis in the eyes of Tiger Swan. But what's also interesting, I know we only have a few seconds here, but. Tiger Swan's info that they gathered on the protesters, ETF is trying to use that in a lawsuit against yeah. the protesters. So that's why Tiger Swan wants this other illegal operation suit to go away. Because if they're found to have operated illegally, all that alleged evidence they gathered is getting tossed out by the, the lawsuit, courts. The big lawsuit is against the company that hired Tiger Swan and Tiger Swan for the rubber bullets, the gas, the injuries that they did to these protesters. They had no license to do it in the state of North Dakota.